So it is uh, cold out and it is somewhat snowing, but I have an appointment to go to to see my uh, psychiatrist. Let's uh, let's go do that. So that was a bust and it was pointless for me to go and do that appointment. Apparently the doctor is no longer accepting patients, but I would go to my local VA clinic and talk to her through like a screen or webcam, a little uh, meeting or whatever. So it turns out they canceled the appointment even though they sent me something in the mail. And on top of that, I had already called because there was other appointments that I had to work around. But as far as I knew until today, when I walked in, my appointment was supposed to be today. Um, so when I went in there, they said the appointment was canceled and they got this new, a couple new doctors or whatever. So now I'm seeing them face to face or wherever when I go in there. And I'm just like, hey, after this initial intake, which is usually an hour, if you don't know, um, is there any way for me to see this doctor or wherever over, over a webcam or something like that at home? Because again, there's no point for me to go 15 minutes, 20 minutes out my way just for a five minute conversation. But the first thing I want to leave y'all with before I go and look around in the mall and stuff like that is what is your content doing that gives your viewers that are watching or wherever value whether it be gaming tech reviews anything like that vlog stuff like that what content are you as the content creator giving your viewers that is going to not only educate them on whatever the topic is it's just not just evergreen content where somebody needs to know something about a piece of tech or something like that or how to change a tire on a car or something like that that's just searchable right that's something that somebody will need to know in the future, like changing a tire or something like that. But what value are you putting in the video other than, hey, this is how you change a tire that's causing people to subscribe and stay around on your channel? What value are you bringing? Because I'm telling you right now, most people who are doing gaming content, they're not bringing any value to the viewer. But let me go in there, let you think about that real quick. Man, I'm going to make some people mad with this video. But hey needs to be said. So I just got back. It's been like a day or so has passed and I want to go ahead and say that this living room is looking kind of bad. Right now, it has stuff everywhere, so I need to go ahead and clean it up. Like I said, I've been kind of on this cleaning kick since we've gotten back for our trips, but um, finally got us a proper, somewhat vacuum, so I have to go ahead and build that, and uh, we'll see if it works or whatever for what we need. What I wanted to go ahead and say again is, you gotta make sure with your YouTube videos that you're giving people high value content. Now, essentially what that means is, is that when you're uploading YouTube videos and doing content and trying to, I guess, grow your channel in 2023, the best thing you can do is actually fi figure out what people want as far as their niches and stuff. And you're giving them high value by supplying that content for that niche. Let's say a new video game comes out or maybe something on cars have changed or best comparison would be like Destiny. I used to play Destiny a lot. And D1, with Destiny 1, I used to do weapon reviews because now at the point when I was doing it, not a lot of people were doing it. A weapon in Destiny 1 from PvE and then I would go into PvP, you know, test it out, talk about the pros and cons, maybe some different perks or whatever than what everybody else was using or something like that. Those videos for at the time for everything um, was doing pretty well. And then Destiny 2, I know I did it a couple of times or wherever, and those videos did somewhat well, and but it, it got more and more complicated. So you know I stopped doing it because the the thing about doing video games and doing stuff like that, like build guides or whatever, um, the problem with those videos is number one, if the the game dies, then you have to think about that. Um, number two, you get bored of the game, or for some reason you stop playing, whatever it might be. Or for three, it might just be like 
the game gets shut down and i know people would say dying is that but dying is more so people stop playing and there's not enough a significant audience for you to grow um or the entrance dies or whatever from the player base not so the company actually shuts down the game when it comes to high value it, you might not have to do the the build guides people like lore people still like halo lore even though people don't really like the re more recent halo games um maybe a retrospective or something like that those are pretty popular so when it comes to video games you don't always have to do actual gameplay of the games you can capture the games gameplay you can stream the games but when it comes to actually making video content i would suggest doing something like i said lore and then also on top of that just stream the game or something like that in order so you can play the game capture your footage but don't get so wrapped up in streaming as well that's something that i notice with a lot of content creators even friends of mine who just stream 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 and they never do really do anything with their youtube and their youtube when you look at it it's just literally like a 10 minute video of them um you know playing the game or wherever and having highlights that no longer really get you anywhere on youtube I'm, I'm just letting you know right now it really doesn't unless you're winning tournaments or something like that and some kind of esports and you're playing on a professional level and you can actually back it up i'm not saying being um being ego push your ego to the side and be sit down and realistically look at yourself are you going on that level of being an esports pro nine times out of ten the people who answered yes are even wrong themselves out of everybody that i've met and personally talked to since doing content creation and i've been doing it since like 2014 there's only been one person out of all those years who i would say who consistently has played and been playing on a possible esports professional level but they would be good enough to get into entry-level tournaments or something like that and maybe work themselves up the ladder and I've played with a ton of people, uh, Xbox, PlayStation, PC, and that's just my personal experience. So you have to realize that, hey, maybe I'm not going to be on that level. Maybe I'm just not that good of a, of a player or something like that. But I really like this game. I want to do YouTube. Find a way to sidestep your niche into how do I make videos about this? I like streaming. I like playing video games. I was not in a financial situation to where I could afford all the top of the line stuff. But when I had the money, I wanted to buy certain things. So what I would do is, you know, for two or three months, literally almost every day, look and compare all these products and stuff like that. So when I could make a purchase, then I made sure I made a purchase that was, uh, that made sense financially uh, rather than, oh, it's just this company. So we get it. Um, and been doing that for a, a long time to the point to where now where I'm more financially stable um, to the point to where I pretty much can almost buy anything I want. I still have that mindset of I'm going to make sure that I buy stuff that makes sense financially and still having that mindset and doing YouTube. I was able to turn my streaming stuff or whatever from gaming into like product reviews into using cameras into talking to you about starting youtube channels and starting streaming and what products and stuff you should possibly look into getting and stuff because i was there and i'm still technically there but i'm on the level of being able to tell you what you should possibly get and what you should possibly avoid that video gonna do that you're uploading now a year from now is it still searchable is people are still going to be interested in that topic if you look back who's still looking up call of duty videos from cold war maybe it's a few people but ain't nobody really playing cold war vanguard now you know those videos are just thrown away or wasted destiny one some people might still be playing destiny one have nostalgia for it but guess who's probably playing the new expansions that comes out you know what i'm saying like new apex some people might go back and look at prior seasons of apex but guess who's you know playing the new seasons of apex to prove a point nine months ago the video has 7k views nine months ago for a channel who has not even 800 subscribers because i put that out that blew up 
four months ago. A budget microphone. A $60, $60 microphone. Got me almost 2,000 views. The little portable light from Walmart. Almost 2K views six months ago. You, you do videos like that and they're still going to be relevant because as long as those products are on the shelves at Walmart, as long as those... As long as people are always going to need lighting or microphones or whatever, people are always going to look. All you have to do is make sure that you get your title correctly and you tag it correctly. That's all you have to do because the searchable content, people are always going to want to have a 60% keyboard or, or something like equivalent to a keyboard or a mouse. People are always going to need microphones. People are always going to need these peripherals to not even just only work from home, but the game, all that stuff like that. So it's from two years from now or wherever that video is more than likely going to be more relevant than people putting out a whole bunch of gaming videos or wherever today. Even if I was to release that video today, it still would do a decent amount of views or wherever over its lifespan than people who are putting out gaming videos. So again, those are just my thoughts and my opinion and saying, but I need to go ahead and make sure that I get the living room cleaned up. So appreciate you guys stopping by. This is my thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys next time in the fish tank. Y'all take care. Have a squid day. God bless you and yours. Deuces, everybody. Much love.